Guys, we're going to make a pineapple honey glazed ham coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef. I am not a bartender. I am not a pit master. But I play all three on TV. I'm going to show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. And if you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, the bell next to it, get all the alerts on what we're doing here. And while you're at it, while you're clicking buttons, moving around, click that like button too. All right. So why am I standing in a different spot than my kitchen that I normally do? Well, guys, I'm going to do a Christmas ham today, a small one, in my Ninja Foodie Grill. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I have a little glaze that I'm going to show you how to cook. And uh, this makes a great holiday ham. And I figured we got the tree up here. This is one of two in the house. This is the fancy one. We got the kids one in the other room. And I just figured, you know what, since we're going to do a Christmas ham, why not have a nice Christmas backdrop? All right, so that's it. Uh, this glaze is really simple, four ingredients. Uh, we're going to sprinkle on some uh, Magic Sweetie Blend, which I'll put a link down below for it. And then I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my torch and we're gonna brulee the magic seasoning on top. So it's gonna be awesome. All right, just trust me on it. It's also taking a pineapple simple syrup that we got from Hawaii. Uh, so I'm gonna put links down below for the simple syrup, uh, for uh, the brulee torch, for the magic sweetie blend, and then for whatever else you need. Okay. So I'm not gonna leave you hanging on this one. Amazon Prime should get you everything you need. We'll get you back in the kitchen, back on the Ninja Foodie Grill Station, otherwise known as the Kitchen Island, and we'll get started. Okay, guys, we are here on my Ninja Foodie Grill Station. All right, so we're gonna prepare our ham. It's a two pound dinner ham. It's already cooked and already smoked and all that. So now we're just gonna do a little scoring to it just for the glaze to get in a little bit. It's gonna take about 25, 30 minutes to cook on 325. So while I'm cutting this, why don't we go ahead and get the foodie grill preheated. All right, so we're gonna get it turned on. Uh, we're gonna bake. 325, all right, time, I'm gonna put it for 30 minutes. Basically, it, the package says 20 minutes for every pound, so it's two pounds, it'll be 40 minutes, but I know with the foodie grill, it heats things up a little sooner, so you kinda wanna watch your temperature, watch your time, obviously the air is really condensed, so that's how we're gonna get this done a little bit sooner. All right, start, okay, so that's warming up. We're just gonna score this just into the rind or the skin or whatever you wanna call it. You wanna use a sharp knife, be careful. All right, and score this way around. Okay, about an inch up, half inch up. And one more at the top. Got it? All right, so it's scored, ready to go. When this comes up to temperature, we're gonna put a half a, uh, we're gonna put a half a cup of the water in there, put this on a little baby roasting rack, shut it, forget it. We'll get on the stove, and I'll show you how we make our pineapple honey glaze. Okay, we're all preheated. I'm gonna pour our half a glass of water in there. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna pour our half a cup of water in there. Put our ham right in the middle of the rack. I've already measured to make sure it's going to close. Close. 30 minutes, we'll be back. Okay, we got some butter melted down. This is one stick of butter. Okay. I'm going to put two tablespoons of brown sugar. Two heaping tablespoons. Okay. Get that incorporated. And turn this down a little bit. We got some organic honey right here. I'm going to eyeball a teaspoon. Maybe a teaspoon and a half. 
Okay, last thing, we got some pineapple cane syrup. Okay, so it's just a pineapple simple syrup. Got this from Hawaii, from Maui actually. And uh, I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons in there. This stuff is very thick, lovely taste. The smell here, you can smell it, smell it. It's like the essence of pineapple. We actually went to a pineapple plantation and they had this stuff for sale. And you know me being a, a fruity drinker kind of guy, I, uh, I decided that I'd get some of this pineapple cane syrup. Now if I can't find this exact thing on, uh, on Amazon, I will put a similar uh, cane gum syrup type thing in there, okay? In the links down below. Okay, so you see it's just warming through, it's combining, it's thick, it's rich, it's lovely. We're gonna let this reduce for probably a good 10 minutes or so on a low heat. It's gonna be tasty, all right? Ham's cooking, this is reducing. We're, ready. we're almost ready to go. All right guys, we've done a half hour cooking in here. So we're gonna stop it, it's, it's ended. I'm gonna turn the power off. Then we're gonna turn it back on because we're going to glaze this thing up for about 10 minutes worth of cook time. Okay, so we're gonna do bake again, 325. T uh, timing should be on 15 minutes. We're gonna use 10 minutes of it, so get it preheating. While it's preheating again, guys, look at this glaze right here this this right here is liquid gold like you could put that on your freaking tennis shoe and you'll ask for seconds just the right consistency nice and thick and syrupy and I'm telling you guys let's reduce just a little bit look at that I'm gonna bring it a little closer liquid gold Oh, man, caramely, honey-y, pineapple-y, I'm telling you guys, the butter, oh, good lord, all right, okay, we're preheated, let's get this thing glazed up, huh, just gonna paint it on, get it into the nicks and crannies, we're gonna watch this, there's a lot of sugars going on in here, okay, so we're gonna watch this. We're gonna check it out five minutes. Make sure we're not smoking. Make sure we're not burning anything. This other side. See a lot of people, you know, put pineapples on their their ham like this. I cut out the middle, man. I just put pineapple syrup in there. Now we're gonna shut this down. Let it go for five minutes. And we'll check on it. But don't leave the room. A lot of sugars going on. Do not want to burn. Do not want to smoke. Pay attention to this. Trust me. All right, five minutes in. Oh, it's looking lovely. Add a little bit more. Oh, did I tell you guys the sauce is like drinking sunshine? Okay. Another five minutes and we'll be good to go. Okay, we are done. Now comes the fun part. CJ, what are you talking about? Well, let me show you. Make sure you get your silicone gloveys. Put this over here on the cutting board. Now, we are going to brulee this. Okay, so we got our, got our magic sweetie blend. What's in this is sugar, spices, salts, natural lemon and lime flavor. And that's what gives you a little that little little kick. You know, it's it's a good it's a good kick. All right, so we're just gonna put it all around it. We're going like honey baked style right here. Turn it up on its side. All right, so we got a healthy amount on there. Why am I doing this in this pan? Well, <laughs> I don't feel like setting fire to my cutting board. So we're gonna take our little torch here and just get it lit. All right. So we're just toasting, toasting that sugar. 
We're not burning it. We're just melting it down a little bit. Kind of like honey baked stock, honey baked ham. I don't know how many people are familiar with honey baked ham. This is how they pretty much do it with their hams. Turn this around, let's get the other side. Now this part isn't necessary. The glaze on here is already pretty hardened. I'm a big fan of honey baked ham style. And we already have the honey and the cinnamon and the extra spices in there. So I figured I'd just take it the next step, go the extra mile, and get it brulee. Okay, just like that. It's good, it's good. Don't try that at home. <laughs> I'm gonna let this kind of sit for a little bit, kind of tighten up, and then uh, we'll start slicing into it. Okay, fancy thumbnail shot. All good. I put some of this glaze right here on the bottom. Oh, so good. So let's cut a little piece right here. This is the edge piece. Got all the nice cooking. Look at that. Look at the glisten. Mm. Oh my god. Cut another piece. I ripped off. Get it with that glaze on there. You guys can't see it, but I'm doing the happy dance. Come to think of it, you guys probably don't want to see me doing the happy dance. Alright. Excellent day. All right, come on back. Let's talk about it. So look at here. I'm not saying that glaze is the best glaze I've ever tried in my life. I'll let you guys say that because it is amazing. I want you to tell me different. It is so freaking good. Like I was just eating it by a spoonful. That's right. I'm not. What are you gonna do? Sometimes something so good you gotta eat about a spoonful. All right. There. Okay, okay. All right. So, glaze instructions below. All the links to the stuff I used. You know, the sweetie blend, the syrup, uh, the brulee torch, all that stuff down below. Okay. Hit show more. And get what you need. Okay. If you don't have a Ninja Foodi grill yet, and guys, you don't need to do this in the Ninja Foodi grill to make this pan wonderful. That glaze, I'm telling you, make a flip flop good. Uh, so freaking awesome, dude. Yeah. Good job. One more time, CJ. All right, so uh, Ninja Footy Grill down below. Hit the link. Uh, Cooking with CJ merch down below. Hit the link. You want to become a Patreon producer? This link right here. Hit it. Join the crew. I appreciate it. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday season. Whatever you celebrate, I wish the best for you and your family. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for coming with CJ. Take care.